hold up. Oh my God. Yeah, it's definitely spring. Guys, I am back with a book tag, which is not really a book tag by Spring Summer TBR. It is finally sunny. It has been gloomy. I know climate change is happening, but I wish we in spring, child. For a person who likes sweater weather, I'm truly embracing the season. Did an autumn winter TBR, and I I think I did read some of those books. I will put them here, and I will mark which ones I read and which ones I didn't. That is all for like my autumn TBR and how much I was able to get through. But I'm going to be sharing my spring summer TBR books that I'm really looking forward to reading. The books like I'm just so excited, guys, to read and like go to the beach, drink my iced coffee, or go to the gardens and just chill with a good book with an iced coffee because it's iced coffee season y'all <laughs> so excited without further ado guys let's get right into this video first book that we do have is everything i know about love by dolly alberton i've been seeing a lot of people getting it especially my south african girlies like i've seen like my faves from the u.s and from the uk but my south african girlies have been saying this book is it i cannot wait to get my hands on this book like i wish someone will sell it on instagram for like a really a good price because sometimes a price <laughs> The price, the price just gets me. The price just makes me, mm, do I really need to read it? I really thought it was going to be like a, a self-help book, but in a form of fiction. But it is a story about this girl who has like messy love, uh, trying to navigate life. I don't know how old this girl is, but I know that she's trying to navigate life, love, friendships, relationships, you know, personal growth and all of that. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. Also, the cover is just, I don't know, it's giving literal fiction cover. That is the first book on my tbr second books this is two books actually but it's by the same author we have some sally rooney i am looking forward to actually spending some time with sally rooney the last book that i read by by sally was normal people and absolutely loved i love that book okay we have conversations with friends this is a story about two best friends one of them has a crush on the other they i think they're on vacation and then they meet up with this couple and kind have of spent the summer i think together i know that there is a show and i've been putting off watching the show or dodging spoilers left right and center because i want to do that thing where it's totally authentic for me to read the book and um, and watch the series also i hope i enjoy this one third one is beautiful world where are you okay this should be interesting Alice, a novelist, meets Felix, who works in a warehouse, and asks him if he would like to travel to Rome with her. Like, who the hell does these things, guys? Like, in Dublin, her best friend Elaine is getting over a breakup and slips back into flirting with Simon, a man she has known since childhood. You see? And this is the kind of mess I like! Alice, Felix, Elaine, and Simon are still young, but life is catching up with them. They desire each other, they delude each other, they worry about sex and friendship and the times they live in. Will they find a way to believe in a beautiful world? You know what? Valid question. Like, I should ask myself that question. I hope the writing style and the, and the execution of the synopsis will give what I'm feeling right now. And I'm really excited to read this book. Four is My Happy Place by Emily Hendry. Listen, this is my most anticipated book. And I was salty at the fact that Jonathan Bull Publishers didn't send me this book. Side eye bombastic side eye like ever since 2023 started i've been writing this book but also i don't have the money for it so guys i'm gonna put on my take a lot wish list if you feel in your heart and in your spirit like you want to get it for me please do <laughs> it's about this couple who go on a vacation with their friends and it's an annual thing that they do this time it's going to be different because the couple in the story are actually not together I think they're separated but they don't tell their friends that they are separated because they don't want to ruin the whole trip like reverse you know kind of thing because i think they are married so it's going to be interesting just to see the dynamic of a married couple pretending to be together i don't think this is going to have a happy ending but we shall see fifth book is make a scene by mimi grace i'm waiting for no kanya on instagram to sell this book so i can buy it i can't even find it on take a lot Make a Scene by Mimi Grace is part of a series. I think I'm going to make a whole reading vlog about this series because I think it's cute. I think it is fake dating. I think it is kind of like a spot romance because I think the guy is a boxer. Next book we have is A Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. The last time I read Bernadine Evaristo, I think it was 2021. 
was it 2022 i think it was 2022 early which i read mr loverman and i completely fell in love with that book i tried to start this book but because the font was small i got discouraged guys i think we should have a petition where we talk to authors and be like why i understand that you want to tell your story in a way that you want to tell it but why yeah i think it was about a, a, a bunch of women in different stages of their lives and different ages and ethnicities i think it would have been nice to read this book for um the south african women's month in august next um it's not even a next i'm actually in the middle of it this is my dog vanessa by kate elizabeth russell here we follow vanessa she is 32 years old going through the me too movement and trying to realize or going through a process of realizing that she was abused when she was in high school by this teacher when a bunch of women started coming out and telling the world and journalists that they were sexually abused and groomed by a teacher when they were in high school she has always believed that she had a relationship with him to be groomed is to be loved and handled like a precious delicate thing that shook me guys then a lot of i think from the beginning of this book guys then it shook me as i'm reading this book you go through the emotions of being vanessa so that this book is whatever you've heard about it it is absolutely true especially the good things is disturbingly good things like my summer spring tbr is gonna be a good one like i'm gonna finish all the books that i have because all these books have been on my mind and in my heart for a very very long time and also on my shelf collecting dust honey <laughs> Delewitz Destiny by Tommy Obaro. This book we follow three friends throughout three decades, their friendship and the lives that they've led. They met when they were in varsity and they've been friends ever since. One of their friends relocates to the USA and after like 30 years, I think they meet again when one of the friend's son or daughter if i'm not mistaken gets married I, I recently told one of my friends actually i was like i feel like i'm gonna be reading about us girl like Tyari Jones. What did Tyari Jones write guys? I know this author, but what did they write? Fast paced, glamorous, and bursting with emotion. Guys, any Tyree jo American marriage! Tyree Jones wrote American marriage. Mm. So excited for this book. Looking forward to it. I think this book is going to be quite important to me, so I hope it doesn't disappoint. Am I kind of like matching? I feel like I'm matching with most of these books, child. Men Called Ove by Frederick Beckman. This is also a tearjerker with a small font, honey. Okay. I know that this is about a grumpy man and this family moves next door to him and they kind of like befriend him. Tom Hanks is the grumpy guy in the, in the motion picture. And I love Tom Hanks. This book is very sad. I just know that there is a grumpy man and a family and he will cry. So I'm looking forward to it because I love to cry. I love to feel things and I love when books make me feel things. So I'm looking forward to reading this book. Next, we have Clara and the Sun by Kazu Ishoguru. Basically, it's this Robert who has been in the shop for a very, very long time. I think, you know, this Robert gets the experience to humans. Here we see humans in the eyes of an artificial, like, intelligence type of thing. That is all. It's I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button if you haven't. And hit that little bell to get notified every single time your homegirl post a video, you guys. Because she's going to be back. She's going to be better. Okay? After September. Yo, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye!